Another new chart type in Excel 2016 is called Box and Whisker, and it's related to stock type charts, although it certainly goes in a different direction. We've got a list of data here in columns A, B, and C. This is about 600 rows or so. I'll double-click the bottom edge of the active cell, which currently is in B2. We see how it goes down to row 601. 600 entries here. They're not in any particular order. With regard to state or sales, you can see that they're sorted by ID number. They can be in any order we want. Now, this particular option is found on that middle button in the cluster of nine chart types that we have available here on the Charts group. Insert tab, box and whisker. You see the description. Display variation within a set of data. That doesn't really tell us a whole lot. Use it when there are multiple data sets which relate to each other in some way. Maybe that's a little vague too. But we see the chart below. Now, I put data above it, and I'm going to make the chart wider so that the chart more or less lines up with the information above it. Move it down a little bit. This is not a prerequisite. You don't need to have this information here. But in varying degrees, the chart reflects some of the information that we're seeing up there for each of the states. First order of business here might be, let's just add data labels. Click the plus to the right of the chart here, and there are the data labels appearing on the left-hand side. Click data labels, and we see a bunch of numbers. To me, the numbers aren't quite strong enough. Some of them might be obscured by the blue boxes. If we click one of the numbers, they're all selected. We could go to the Home tab here, make them be bold. Possibly a larger font here, although the numbers might run into each other. 10 isn't too bad, although some of those numbers might be a little crowded. Let's leave it at 9 for the moment. Another option here, in this case, just double-click one of the boxes. It's blue. Brings up the Format Data Series dialog box on the right. Let's go to the Fill bucket here. How about a solid fill, different color. That was a color used recently. That one might work just fine, light enough. Close the dialog box. Now, as you look at some of the numbers here, if we sorted the data, we could verify the idea that California has a number of entries in here. The height of the box represents half of the California entries. So half of the California entries fall between 80,856 and 47,554. And for Texas, its upper limit is 71,856, 42,406, and so on. The numbers we see here at the top and bottom of the box represent the range that covers the middle number of entries that we have for Texas. And you can see, for California, the highest value found there is 101,000. We see that up there, max. 24,105, that's min. So I've simply used functions up here. I think it's a good idea to do this, but it certainly is not a prerequisite. This is figuring out the maximum value for California. This is figuring out the minimum value. These are array functions. Some of you might not have worked with those. And the two other numbers we see in here, they're kind of running into each other. But, for example, in California here, this number inside the box, 63,713, I think you can see that's the average salary for this group here. The number to the right of it is the median. In all the examples here, it appears to be larger, but that isn't necessarily the case all the time. In fact, in Florida, it's actually smaller. But the numbers are kind of crowding each other there. We could, of course, make the chart taller and... That spreads out the numbers. But it gives us a pretty good image of what's going on in that data in columns B and C. And sorting the data has no real impact, but sometimes that might help you verify what's going on here in terms of the, of the count and so on. And as I suggested, although the numbers above are not required, I think it's a good uh, set of numbers to have available to verify what we're seeing here on the chart. So we've seen how to use a box and whisker chart, one of the new charts in Excel 2016.